What's up, guys? This is Carter Thomas back with another episode of Blue Cloud TV, where we go through the latest trends, things that are happening in the app business, in the app store, opportunities, and just keeping you in the loop on the app business so that you get better ideas, better execution, better motivation, and that leads to more downloads and more money. Cool? All right, let's dive in. We've got some cool stuff today I'm really excited to talk about. I think it's always fun to start by diving into the app store, looking at the charts. So today, July 26th, uh, man, the Sarah Ha app is just relentlessly dominating the free charts, which is cool to see. I'm glad we kind of saw that as it creeped up. And it's, it's a cool case study. I downloaded it. Uh, took me a little while to figure it out just because of the, uh, you know, the, the, the language and the usage. I didn't really have anybody to message with it, but it's cool. Definitely recommend checking it out. Same with Flappy Dunk. Uh, but what I wanted to do today, because we kind of got a special uh, post. Let me pull this up. I wanted to go into the health and fitness. I think we might have done, gone into this category last week, but I think I personally think health and fitness, I think entertainment slash emoji, and I think finance are three, if not the three of the biggest, if not the biggest uh, niche opportunities in the app business in 2017. I think that those three are very conducive to subscriptions, very conducive to content, and they're relatively uh, I wouldn't say untapped, but they're, they're being monetized in like a 2015 way. It's a lot of legacy stuff. It hasn't really been uh, overhauled. I think fitness is getting there, but I, I mean, entertainment is still like a bunch of, you know, one-off apps, people trying to hit it for a week and then they leave. And fit, finance is a joke, right? It's all bank apps and stock tickers. So, but I wanted to look at f uh, fitness because not only is this a very, uh, wide open category, it is one of the most lucrative categories. The the amount of money that some of these companies are making, right? Like Headspace and Sweat by Kayla. I mean, we're talking 50, 60 million a year. Okay, like real money. And even if it, you, you look at the top grossing apps, remember that there's 100 and however many countries out there, 160, I think, that are have an app store. So you might see the US or the Canada or the Australia, wherever you are, uh, realize that worldwide revenue dwarfs this. What I thought was really cool about this is I wanted to give you guys all a, a challenge to download a handful of these apps, right? I mean, you can download some of the free apps, which are fine, like those will be good, but those are gonna be harder to model because typically these are, for them to be up at the top, these are very well-oiled machines. I would encourage you to go look at some of these paid apps that are kind of in the top 50, top 30, whatever you want to do, uh, and download a handful of them. And my challenge to you is could, if you could make that app, could you partner with somebody that could create the content, create the workouts, create the menu, or like, you know, the nutrition plans, to create the content, and also some somebody to create the marketing, probably the same person who's creating the content. I think a lot of us have not gotten into the fitness category because of we do not know how to make the content for fitness. We wanna be able to do everything. We wanna hire out a developer, but we wanna take care of like the entire product ourselves, all the social media ourselves, all the Facebook ads ourselves. Instead of finding partners that are going to drive it to the top of the charts. And if you look at any of these successful apps, they either bring it all in-house where they have, they just like, you know, make a business out of it, which is one way to do it, or they partner with very successful uh, fitness brands, content managers, marketers, things like that. And I would just encourage you uh, to go through it. It's like, I track bites, smart weight losser, uh, weight loss, uh, whatever you call it, let's pull this up, All right? So this is a way to, to track your weight. Uh, and someone may look at this in the Blue Cloud community, somebody watching this, and may look at this and think to themselves, well, I don't know anything about that. I, I, don't, I don't have this kind of content. I can't come up with all of this. But they could easily put together that app, right? They could find the developer, they could get, it go get the project going, they could make it a reality, and somebody else 
a blogger, a YouTuber, an Instagrammer could would look at this and be like, oh man, I have 700 uh, calculators and recipes sitting on a server in WordPress posts that aren't doing anything, right? There are people, there are plenty of people out there in that situation that have hundreds of thousands of followers. Now, the challenge is I would encourage you guys to start thinking about that. How could you partner with somebody to build something very, very powerful? Or how could you partner with someone to promote that app beyond just uh, Facebook ads? Um, fitness is a great category. I think that any category is awesome. It's built on content because when you find somebody in the fitness category or you know, go find someone selling stuff on Amazon, there are tens of thousands of people out there that are making vlogs that are out there like creating insane fitness content that are not monetizing it or they're trying to sell supplements and they're not really proud of it. And they would love to have something like this. So something to think about because we often talk a lot about emojis and that is a very powerful uh, business model if you get the right partner and if you work with it correctly. But this is just another way to think about partnerships, think about influencers. I think that over the next year, the success stories that we you will see in the app business a disproportionate number of them will be people that decided to partner with other people that either created their own small teams or they partnered with other people to create something bigger than what they could do on their own. I, I can almost guarantee that that's who is going to have the most success. All right. Now, Mark wrote an awesome, awesome post that you guys should all go check out and published it today. Go to bluecloudsolutions.com forward slash blog. It'll be the first post you see. It's all about partnering and how he took uh, the emoji app we have, right? The dog emoji app. He made it for a dog breed. And he went out and partnered with an influencer on Instagram. Now, what's, in, what's really great about what Mark did is not only did he document it, and you can go check it out. You can read this whole thing. It's, he, he provides step by steps how he did it all. But some people have tried this and they have not been successful. But Mark did it a different way, and he made a very conscious choice in how and who he partnered with, and that's what made all the difference. So if you're interested in partnering with people, go check this blog post out. It's really powerful. BlueCloudSolutions.com forward slash blog. It's the first one you see, assuming you're going to be listening or watching this uh, on the 26th, 27th. Go check it out. Uh, a lot of step-by-step -step guides, You know everything you need to do about hey, how much money he's making, like thousands of dollars step everyone forgets, the system, all that good stuff. Um, but I do think that this is influencer marketing and just partnerships have kind of been, some people just don't even, like they're kind of over, they either they disqualify too quickly, I think. right? And I think that when you look at the store, if you want to compete and make, get a slice of the amount of money that these guys are all making, partnerships are the path to riches in the app business. I mean, I, I cannot stress that enough. And the more you can start thinking about this, the better. All right, so go check that out. Another piece of news that I thought was really interesting is Netflix um, crushed their earnings report this year, uh, this week. Like, I mean, just absolutely destroyed it. And a lot of it came through their mobile app. And I believe App Annie um, said, what was it, what was the quote? Includes Netflix, uh, Net Netflix's U.S. revenue on iOS and Google Play was higher than any other app last quarter. Okay, that's all through subscriptions. That's what App Annie uh, put out there, right? That's insane. Netflix, a content company, and what's even more amazing is that if you look at the other apps in here, Netflix, Pandora, HBO, Tinder, Spotify, these are all content subscription-based companies. Okay, the days of having one in-app purchase and people piecing out are dying. It's going away. Subscriptions is the new thing, right? Content, subscriptions, development packaging, right? The app itself. Those three things together are how you can make millions and millions and millions of dollars in the app business right now. But you can't do it on your own. Right? It's, it's almost impossible to try to do it on your own. You've got to have partnerships. That's why this influencer marketing stuff partnership marketing, getting people to promote your stuff with you or for you. It's everything. It's the name of the game. And you can't let that stop you because these guys are making ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of money. And there's
uh, no reason you shouldn't get a slice of that. All right. Lastly, uh, Chuck Bruce actually just posted uh, a really good blog post uh, about an indie studio and how they're using video advertising, uh, or I should say video ads to make more money than the market rate. I know a lot of you guys are wondering, hey, how do I get the most out of my video ads? Go check this out. It was like a cool, quick interview that they did uh, that I thought was just you know, interesting for anybody out there with games or using some full screen video ad stuff. And it's just a good one. So go to Chartbrew's blog and uh, you can see it there. So if nothing else, guys, remember, start thinking about who can you bring into your app business to create content and potentially create marketing, but to create the content so that you can layer a subscription on it, you can do the dev work. It is powerful, powerful. It is, it is where the money is and where the money is going in the next 12 months. Cool. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me, Blue Cloud TV. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.